Videography mistakes. Mistakes that nearly every videographer will make when first starting out. What are they and how can you avoid them? It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today I want to help you avoid some very common videography mistakes. Mistakes that are a surefire way to make your footage look more rookie than professional. Avoid all of these at all cost, starting with not planning. Proper planning in practice prevents piss poor performance. I'm not sure who said that, but I couldn't agree with them more. Planning your videos is crucial for a successful shoot, which will in turn lead to a smoother and more enjoyable editing process. Structure your videos and script them if need be. Know exactly what you need before you arrive. Create a shot list. Where is your location and do you have permission to shoot? What props do you need? All of this pre-production planning will make life much easier come shoot day. Make life easier on yourself so you can put all of your focus and energy into being creative and making the best video possible. Make sure your batteries are fully charged, SD cards are backed up and formatted, lenses are clean, there's no dust on your sensor. I made this mistake a few videos ago. Thanks for pointing that one out. But look, in all seriousness, that was a really good example of what not to do. I know what it's like. Things get busy and sometimes it's tempting to cut corners. Sometimes there are no consequences to this, but sometimes there are. Whether this is forgetting your favorite lens or not charging a battery, Proper preparation is key to avoiding a whole host of video production problems. White balance. White balance is really important in getting the most natural looking image. We've all seen that footage that looks a bit orange, too warm, makes people look like an oompa loompa. Equally, we've all seen footage that is too cold. Everything white turns blue, looks like a, a crime thriller or a tacky day to night effect. This is your white balance. When shooting, you want to set your white balance to match whatever light source is lighting your shot. Most cameras have manual white balance that will allow you to choose your white balance. If you're outside on a nice sunny day, select daylight. If it's cloudy, select cloudy. And if you're shooting in the shade, yes, you've guessed it, select shade. This will massively improve the look of your footage straight out of camera and will save you a whole bunch of time color correcting in the edit. Constantly zooming. This is one surefire way to make your audience feel sick. It's very common for beginners to pick up a camera, hit record and start zooming in on anything they see. Now, if this is the look you're going for, then great. But generally speaking, try to keep your camera movement smooth and steady. Bad audio. 50% of a video is audio, so if you get this wrong, you're in a whole heap of trouble. Generally speaking, the built-in microphone on your camera won't be very good. It's definitely worth investing in an external microphone. A shotgun microphone will do a much better job of picking up clear audio in your videos. And if you're recording interviews, make sure you get that microphone as close as you can to your subject. Shaky footage. Another perfect way to make people puke. Now, shaky footage is okay if it's intentional. For example, shooting a fight scene or a chase, but not when you're trying to show off a beautiful landscape. Unless you're going for a high octane action sequence, then shoot as smooth and as steady as possible. There are plenty of accessories out there to help with this, tripods, gimbals, sliders, all of these will help make your footage look more professional. Framing and composition. By far the best free way to improve the look of your footage is with framing and composition. Frame shots so that they look aesthetically pleasing and help tell a better story. I've got three videos dedicated to mastering your composition. I will link them in the description below. Leading on from framing, not paying attention to your background. Have I charged my batteries? Do I have all of my equipment? White balance, exposure, focus. It's very easy to just hit record without paying attention to your background. Make sure your focal point is framed nicely. Nothing too distracting in the background, unless this is a deliberate choice. Try to avoid things growing out of people's heads and adjust your framing accordingly. Filming too much. I did this all the time when I first started out. Show up at a location, hit record, film all day and try to figure it out in the edit. Terrible strategy. Now this of course goes back to planning. Know what you need before your shoot. Yes, of course, get a few extra shots to give yourself some options, but don't go mad. Only get what you need. This not only saves on storage space, but will get the edit done much faster and easier. Dedicate to one shot per clip. 
Leading on from shooting too much, try to avoid shooting really long clips. Instead, dedicate one shot to each clip. So if you need a shot for your location to help set the scene, hit record, grab your shot and stop recording. Don't walk around recording everything with no thought put into framing or camera movement, unless of course it's necessary. A good example of this would be a documentary. Maybe you're following someone down a street doing an interview and you're anticipating something happening. Then of course, keep rolling for long but if you're just shooting b-roll then you should be shooting shorter clips and piecing everything together in the edit. Lighting. Lighting is one of the best ways to improve the look of your videos when done correctly. Even if you don't own a light at least think about lighting. Shoot close to a window and take advantage of some free soft natural light if needed. Investing in a lighting setup will really help take your videos to the next level. Using a softbox to create nice diffused lighting LED lighting to create a mood. Think about colors that work well together or contrast each other. This is another great way to level up your footage. So look, I hope this video helps you avoid a few of these common beginner mistakes. And if you found it useful, let me know. Give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch more content like this, learn more about video production, then you can do that by watching one of my other videos just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.